June 27th, 2019. Today is a very special day. Today is something the Fear Fishing crew has been planning for a very long time. Today is the day we all square off against each other for not only bragging rights, but the greatest prize in all of fishing. This is bigger than the Bassmaster Classic, folks. Myself, Mark Hunter, Marley Horniak, Andrew Mercer Marine, and Mike Carnegie all square off on a lake that we've never fished before, that I'd never heard of till about two weeks ago. Seven till three, five fish limit for yes. The Fear Fishing Championship bout. We are gonna battle it off on the lake today nobody's ever fished this lake we all have the same advantages disadvantages when this afternoon possible thunderstorms almost all day and we're heading way up north I've, I don't have any idea I'm assuming the lake is really clear where it is I'm, I know there's largemouth and smallmouth in there but other than that is a mystery we've been waiting a long time to do this so the plan is right now it's 4 45 in the morning we're heading north and the goal is to come home with the belt that I brought there let's go see the boys let's get this on We have made it to the North Country. We are way up here. I mean, we're pretty close to Bear Camp. Mr. Mark Hunter, what's going on? Somehow, some way, we are going to. <laughs> we're dumb. Somebody's going to have a tournament and somebody's winning that belt. The only problem we have right now is the public boat line has a lock on it. You got a big old lock on it. Doesn't her. look very public, does it? Carnegie and his ranger are blocking the entire neighborhood. So the plan, Mercer thinks there's another launch on this lake. It says it's open from seven to nine and six to eight. So we gotta wait for the rest of the crew to get here and we'll figure something out. But we're fishing today. I'm fishing somewhere. A lake I've never been to. I'm taking home the belt, you dinger flinger. Wrong. Dinger flinger. Well, the lady who runs the boat launch finally showed up. She is going to open the gate, but then she's coming back at 9 and she's locking it till 6 p.m. So that's way too late. And Carnegie's over there trying to negotiate, but that isn't looking very good. Morning, boys. Morning. Morning. The, uh, this uh, fishing northern lakes is not starting off good. No. No. It's a rough go. Yeah, you're losing. Carnegie's trying hard over there, though, eh? Yeah, he's trying to sell. He's trying to sell. I think she's investing with him, though. <laughs> he's doing a good job. He's talked her into new investments. Maybe in, in new investments, but certainly not opening that launch at three. Uh, yeah. So I think the plan is, if Carnegie comes over here and he's got bad news, we're gonna go and just pick another random lake that is in the area, and that's what we're gonna go with. Starting off rough, but somebody today somehow is winning a belt. It didn't work. Carnegie, good try on trying to negotiate that launch. Gave it a shot. New lake coming up. Lake number one didn't work out, but we found one, Mercer. Yeah, we did. We found a lake. Boats are launching. And it's just about time for the main event. We're making it happen today. We're making it happen. All right, we have made it to the launch. What are we fishing for today, Mark? Plan D. Plan D. We had We're a hard time. fishing for big old bass. This event is officially sponsored by Mercer Marine. Did you bring a prize, Mercer? No. Oh. What? <laughs> We're fishing for this right here, the championship bout. The Fear Fishing Bass Champion. I guess we're gonna blast off as soon as we get on the lake. Five fish, We let's not even worry about uh, size limits. Try to keep it around 12 inches, boys, but somebody <laughs> is taking this home today. Mark, you wanna touch it? Does everybody wanna touch it? No. I just licked it. 3.30, three, three o'clock weigh in? Three o'clock way in. Back here. It's only okay. gonna take me till 8.30. Let's <laughs> let's get every, the rest of the boats on the water and have a day. It's gonna be good. I'll let you guys know now that I'm gonna get them. Uh -huh. on the lake. Big thanks to Jack Link's Beef Jerky who hooked me up with the fresh life jacket. It's almost go time, look at this thing. Marley Horniak is John Cox, look at that beast. Marley's working the, rocking the boat that he fixed over the winter. He took like an old, old, old hull and turned that thing into a rock and bass boat. We are just about to hit the water. Everybody is getting in their boats, Mark and Andrew. Five fish limit, biggest five win the belt. It's king of the ring.
Oh, it's not a bad bucket either. Huh. It's got a mom McCall system. No giant. I hope it's two pounds. Beauty. 317, we're in. Finally got one. Finally. 1032. The other guys swear they haven't caught anything. I saw Marley, Andrew, and Mark. I got one. I got one over three. I missed two, but they're hitting the buzz bait in shallow water. So I think we got something. We're gonna just go and cover where I saw a couple and missed a couple. Because if they're gonna hit the buzz bait, they're just after bait fish and we can get them. Fingers crossed. We can pull this together because I really want my belt back. Let's do this. Oh, I don't care. We're going in there. Not biting in the eh? Hair under a pound. Tough lake, to say the least. I talked to Mark, he's got one. I talked to Mike, he's got one. I talked to Andrew, he's got one. This is also just what they're saying. I don't know where Marley is, I haven't spoke to him. He's probably getting them if we can't find them. This right here is the last bay on this lake that I haven't fished yet. I thought we had some going with the buzz bait. That is absolutely dried up. So we're gonna pound around this bay and hopefully we can swing out a limit. This is probably the worst northern lake I've ever fished. It's a struggle. There doesn't seem to be very, very many bass. The locals don't seem very optimistic about the fishery. We're gonna get the chatterbait back out and hopefully we can hook something. A little scary driving around. Look at that. 20 feet up to eight. Ultra skinny pork spawn fish. That might just put us over. I'm not even gonna weigh him three. We're back. The day is over. A lot of sad faces, Mike. <laughs> Mark, what's up? What's up? Good day. Have fun. So That's a tough lake, eh, Mark? Andrew, what do you think? Out of 10? Oh, uh, nine. Yeah, no. she's a beauty. <laughs> it is a struggle out there. Okay, the plan all the way last, because it's my show. Mark is our official waymaster, because he won't cheat. He can be trusted. Mike, would you like to weigh yours first? Sure. Okay, come on. Come aboard. Also, we forgot a weigh-in bag, so we're going to use the uh, the hockey bag, the CBC Sunday Hockey. Yeah, you, my side and your side look a lot different, Mike. Here we go. One. One. Her. Her. That's a good fish, Mike. That's a good fish, Mike. Mike's got a stack. There will be Angler of the Year points added today. Let's see what he's got. What do you got? Official nice. weight. Just a second. I'm the Waymaster. Stop. 414, Four that keeps showing up. Call it. 414. 414. 
There comes Mark, bag number two. How many you got, Mark? I got Mike. three. Mark, you, Mike, you can't stay in the way. Nobody at home wants to see your backside. I did, but then again, I'm not at home. I can't get this little guy. A bass is a bass. There is no, there is no size limit today. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Boom. Boom. That's your money fish. My one fish. 4-12. 4 4-12. So you lost by two ounces to Mike? Yeah, that's okay. That was kind of close. <laughs> here we go, Mercer oh Marine. Oh my god, sponsor. what a toad. Has he got one? Oh, he's got a big one here, guys. She sure is big. For the belt. You ready for this? Let's see it. I have some good live wells. I don't know if I'll that. Whoa. I love right over the boat. <laughs> you got a small mouth. What is he ever? That's it? Yeah. Oh, oh that's a tough fish. lake, eh? <laughs> be, be under 412. <laughs> Four two. Four two. Four, four two. two. Four two. Here we go. You gonna be all right, Mark? Oh yeah, buddy. I'm, Look, I'm nimble at fifty. You're like a ninja. Here we go, Mars bag. Mars bag. Mar has no gunnel. Well, you have a small side and a big side. Oh, oh my god. Sandbagger. Two. Toss your rope, boys. Whoa. Oh, plugs out. That's it. That's it. Four even. Yeah? Oh. Or even. even. All right, so who's in second place, Mark? Or uh, no, Mike. Mike, you're in second place. I gotta beat you. What was your weight? 414. 414. Just come nice and close, Mike. Yep. All right, boys. Mark, are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Boom shakalaka, rock bass. There's my bag killer. Yeah, you can. No size limit. Just grabbing two at once. What? Oh, and he's got a fork. Nice, buddy. Struggled, but I got her done. Thing. Oh yeah, you got it done. We Wait got, it up, Mark. We, we got, I'm gonna guess 11 pounds. Ding, ding, ding. No, I was wrong. Nine, five. King of the ring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See ya, Nine, boys. five. We got a winner. Last guy I wanted to win, because we got to hear about it for three years. But that's okay. Well done, Ian. A lot of smack talking was made over the last couple weeks. A lot of people said they were gonna win, and they didn't. Just like I said at the beginning of the, the vlog, I brought the belt, and I'm taking it home. Mark, good day on the water. That's a tough lake, eh? <laughs> good <Good year. laughs> You know, I was gonna win the belt today, but I didn't want it. We're doing renovations. I got nowhere to put it at home. Huh? Well, you always have uh, a shot at the next one. <laughs> Do you think that lake's fishing tough, or you think there's... Oh, I think it's just a terrible lake I think I don't think yeah. there's very many bass in that lake at all. I was told on the way here, but... You, somebody told you it's not very good and we yeah. fished it? Sean McCall. Really? Well, I managed to find a few. Tough day on the water. It was a struggle. One of those days where I just put my nose down and ground it out. Mike. Nice belt. Thanks. Well done. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that, Mike. I won't touch it till I win it. Oh, I touched it. <laughs> I told, I said at the beginning of the video, I brought the belt and I'm taking it home. Speaking of people who are jealous of my belt, Andrew. <laughs> tough day. I had fun though. Yeah. Got one good bite. At least you got to see the belt. Yeah, I don't, yeah. yeah, you do. Hey, do you think it's a bad lake or do you think it was just fishing hard? I don't think there's many bass in there. Yeah, I don't know. I I uh, flipped a lot of grass and. I don't think there's many bass. Only two. You did well though. Thanks for coming. Hey, don't you want to say congratulations? No. <laughs> Your head won't fit in the truck door. <sighs> It's gonna be a tough podcast on everyone. Before I go and put my boat away, get ready to head home, take my belt to show Miss Amber, say goodbye to my, my main man, my brother, and people are already starting to notice, double wave there. Hard to not respect the man with the belt. Mark. You doing your victory lap? I'm doing my victory lap. I might not win another one of these. We've got three more events planned. You uh, you keep fishing the way you are, you might win one of these. You keep your nose down, keep grinding, you, you might get what it done. Dude, tough lake, eh? Yeah, really tough. I don't think there's many bass in that lake. I saw some good ones. You, you saw some good ones. Really good I ones. saw one good one that I couldn't get. I really uh, lucked into this. It was more of a cast, uh, I caught them on chatterbait. And ready, buzz bait. Two of them on a buzz Actually, bait. Yep. No way. Legit. <laughs> bro. Good work. Thanks, bro.
I'm gonna get my boat ready. I'm gonna head home. These guys are probably gonna be mean to me as soon as I turn this camera off, but I'm prepared. I'm prepared to hold my title as King of the Ring. Home time. I can't wait to fear fish and experiment night. Made the long drive home. And when I got here, I still the champ. Big day, tough day, but one of those days where, one of those things where Going up north doesn't always mean awesome, awesome fishing. A lot of those lakes up north are amazing and they have, they're full of giants or they're full of two and three pounders. This lake we fished today was not one of those. That was a total grind. Hours and hours between hits. The two things that saved my butt today for that I could win the belt. Shadow bait, CT, Tatua CT, cast an absolute mile. The other thing that really helped today, I got the first two fish. I get the party started on this right here. One of my favorite things to fish, other than the jig. Teeny, tiny buzz bait. It's so light that I put tubes on the back. I heard this from Brian the Carpenter. For the, you're able to cast them. The other big thing when it comes to it, right there. The all new Tatua SV, it casts small baits an absolute mile without all the bird's nest of other reels. I'm talking quarter ounce. That spinner bait that's a uh, buzz bait that's on there right now is a one eighth ounce. I've made it home. It was been a heck of a day. There's nothing sweeter than beating your friends in a fishing tournament. If you're watching this, you don't need to go and sign up for a series. You don't have to go and join a club to have fun fishing and being competitive. Go find some friends, get out on the lake, put $10 in the hat, get yourself a belt, and just have some fun on the water catching fish. I've had an absolute blast of a day, but sadly I gotta let you go because tomorrow morning is the first Quinty club event of the year. I gotta be back up at 4.30 in the morning to hit the road for that. Fingers crossed we pull off another W. It's gonna be a day. I'm gonna have fun. It's on a lake that I've never fished before. I've never been to. So I'm gonna go clean up the boat, tie some rods, edit this, and tomorrow we're gonna do it all again. We'll see you soon.